Okay, so today we're going to be solving the Quadality Frog River 1 problem. And this is the problem. A small frog wants to get to the other side of the river. The frog is initially located on one bank of the river, position 0, and wants to get to the opposite bank, position x plus 1. Leaves fall from a tree onto the surface of the river. You are given an array, A, consisting of n integers representing the fallen leaves. A of k represents the position where one leaf falls at time k, measured in seconds. The goal is to find the earliest time when the frog can jump to the other side of the river. The frog can only cross when the leaves appear at every position across the river from 1 to x. That is, we want to find the earliest moment when all the positions from 1 to x are covered by leaves. You may assume the speed of the current in the river is negligibly small. The leaves do not change their position once they fall in the river. For example, you are given an integer x equals 5 and an array such that a of 0 is equal to 1, a of 1 is equal to 3, a of 2 is equal to 1, a of 3 is equal to 4, a of 4 is equal to 2, a of 5 is equal to 3, a of 6 is equal to 5, a of 7 is equal to 4. In second 6, a leaf falls into position 5. So as you can see, the key is the seconds, and the key of the array is the seconds, and it'll fall into position five. This is the earliest time when leaves appear in every position across the river. Because at second six, you have a leaf at position one, position two, position three, position four, and position five. So that if x is equal to five, that'll allow you to, the frog to walk all the way um, on each leaf to the other side of the river. So write a function that given a non-empty array A consisting of n integers and integer x returns the earliest time the frog can jump to the other side of the river. If the frog is never able to jump to the other side of the river, the function should return negative 1. For example, x is equal to 5 and array A such that um, the array is equal to that as you can see, the function should return 6 because at second 6 we have a leaf at every single position across the river that the frog needs to get to in order to cross. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n and x are within the range of 1 to 100,000 and each element of the array is an integer within the range 1 to x. So look over here. This is a diagram of um, the frog and we have a river and at particular times a leaf is going to fall so at second one this leaf will fall and it'll float in the river in the same spot at second two a leaf closer to the bank will fall and it'll float in the river and at second three um, a leaf closer to the frog will fall and float in the river and this will form sort of a bridge that the frog can cross in order to get across so let's give this question a shot. Let's start it and see where we go with it. Okay, we will solve it in JavaScript. Okay, so to recap, x is equal to the distance, the number of steps of positions for a bridge to be formed with leaves to cross the river, right? Let's actually put this in this type comment. And what is A? A is the array containing the positions the leaf will fall in at time i. Okay, 
so steps. How are we going to solve this? So, off the top of my head, I'll create an array with x um, values. Each value in create an array, let's call it s with x values. Each value in s is a position in the lake, right? Let's start off with that. Furthermore, we can have a hash that um, is pointing to those positions that references the positions in lake. And we're going to use this hash because hash lookups are quick, right? They are immediate and they occur in all, uh, um, one time since it's a key map to a value automatically. So that would be faster than searching through an entire array. And so then what we can do is using the hash, we can determine whether a leaf is at that position already or not. Right? Yes. And now we also know, uh, we will also know the total. We will have the total number of steps. No, so we have the steps. We have a hash that represents, references the positions in the lake. Um, next, we will um, keep track of the time. Now iterate through the time. array and we will only subtract and when a leaf is not in a position we will subtract uh, one from the total distance three when the remaining or the remaining distance to cross um, bridge parts when the remaining distance when the remaining bridge parts is equal to zero we return that amount of time. Okay, so basically that should solve our problem of uh, how long it'll take the frog to cross the actual um, river. Okay, so now let's declare our arrays. So we're going to have our let s is equal to new array and it's going to have a size of um, x, right? I'm wondering if we even need a hash. I don't think we need a hash. Um, let remaining distance equal x. The reason we don't need a hash is because um, we know the index of the array, so we don't have to search through it, right? Um, and we also have the remaining distance. So now we have our remaining distance for let i is equal to zero and i is less than a dot length i plus plus. So if 
and we will initialize every element in the array to one. So let's see how we can do that. I'll use, actually, we don't even have to initialize it to one. We're going to set it to a one. If, um, if the actual value in that array is not a one. So if S of, so let's get the position now. So let position curly positions equal to A of I. If uh, cur, so if S of cur leaf position is not equal to one, we'll perform the following operations. We will set S of cur leaf position to one. And next from remaining distance, we'll subtract one. Remaining distance minus minus. Okay, and if remaining distance is equal to zero, return i, because that's the number of seconds it would take in order to cross the actual river. So let's give it a shot. Okay, it says our solution is correct. Do we have any edge cases that I forgot? Um, I don't think so. Maybe if we have an empty array, but I don't think that this asks about if the frog is never able to jump to the other side of the river, the function should return to zero, a negative one. So if remaining distance never equals zero, we'll return a negative one. So that's our one of the edge conditions. So now let's see. Okay, let's submit our task and see how we did. Okay, we got 100%, so we have successfully solved the Frog 1 River 1 problem. Um, and that's it for now. Okay, thank you.